माई नेम इज़ सुमैर अजीज़ एंड आई वर्क एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्सला पाकिस्तान एंड दिस वर्क विल बी प्रजेंटेड बाई मी विजन बेस्ड ऑटोनमस रन वे आइडेंटिफिकेशन ट्रैकिंग एंड लैंडिंग सिस्टम फॉर यू ए वी दिस वर्क इज़ जॉइंटली डन बाई डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंजीनियरिंग एट द यूनिवर्सिटी here are the contents of uh, my presentation uh, first we will have look at the introduction then we will describe the problem and uh, we will discuss the available solutions to the problem and then problem in the existing systems then we will discuss the objective of this research work then we'll propose discuss a proposed uh, work proposed method and then we will discuss the results and finally feature future work of this research will be discussed so here is the introduction in the introduction uh, this is the introduction to the uav system an an unmanned aerial vehicle known as drone is an aircraft without a human pilot its flight is either controlled autonomously by computers or under the remote control of pilot on the ground there are two control modes of the uav uh, autopilot or autonomous control and the other one is the manual control mode in the autonomous control mode uh, the uav is piloted by the flight control computer according to the already installed uh, route information the navigation information is received from navigation sensors and control surfaces are controlled by the actuators manual control mode control commands are received from the ground control station while line of sight data link this is the block diagram of the overall uav system this is the important components are highlighted over here uh, which are related to the flight control computer and uh, this uh, is a navigation sensors block navigation sensors can include gps sensors the imu or uh, uh, the inertial sensors uh, inertial navigation sensors and uh, it can include air data system which gathers the angle of attack and and the angle of side slip information there are uh, here is the block of the servo drives and uh, control surfaces are shown here control surfaces include the ailerons uh, rudders and uh, flaps of the uav uh, here is a mission route that is already fed to the computer mission control computer it has the pre installed route information and flight control computer gets the guidance from this route and this Uh, this sensor gives the real time navigation information to the flight control computer and then flight control computer make sure that the uav follows the path uh, which is follow the route using these sensors uh, here is the data link it, this is a radio frequency rf data link uh, that is line of sight most of the time and uh, uh, here is the ground control station ground control station here pilot sits and uh, controls the uav in a manual mode if you are in manual mode then the uav is controlled by the pilot on the ground and uh, uh, here is the ground control station now uav landing system a uav as i already told uh, as uh, this is the ground control station this is the real picture of the ground control station hardware or software this is combination of the hardware and the software Uh, this is the uav unmanned air, air, aerial vehicle and uh, command and radio link can be uh, can consist of a satellite link as well if you have available uh, if you have the satellite available then you can use this link it has extended range and better performance now the problem statement a uh, landing of uav is a very critical operation as uh, it requires preci precise decisions and uh, robust systems to perform the autonomous landing bad landing uh, could lead to crash therefore landing aids and autonomous landing systems for uav are uh, proposed and invented are in use available solutions uh, manual landing is one of the available solution in which the Uh, pilot on the ground uh, controls the uav 
and uh, through using the instruments uh, information coming from the instruments of the aircraft to his computer on the ground he control he can control the uav and he can perform the landing uh, but it has got problem as uh, the de delay in the in the information coming from the uav to the ground uh, it can cause problem in the landing because the landing is very critical task and it uh, there can be a delay of few seconds or one or two second for the information to arrive to the ground control station so this could call uh, this could cause a problem and also the pilot uh, uh, see video from the nose camera of the uav and the video is as uh, uh, you know it's a data is uh, it requires high bandwidth so it requires more time uh, in processing second is the gps based autonomous landing this is the most widely used uh, system uh, which is used for the uav autom autonomous landing systems but it has also uh, problems like uh, uh, like it has uh, jamming problem and it has accuracy problems instrument landing system ils that is um, for this uh, ils uh, you need installations on the airport some part of the main, much uh, hardware installation is required on the airport on the airfield so for uavs deployment is not feasible and microwave landing system is uh, like instrument landing system but with some other uh, frequency spectrum than uh, architectures uh, so it has also the problems uh, which instrument landing system face problems are in the existing systems uh, as i do, uh, discussed manual landing could be disrupted due to data link delay and data link malfunction due to jamming ground and airborne data link system can be uh, can mal malfunction uh, for example uh, the hardware the hardware on the on the receiver or transmitter on the aircraft uh, um, can malfunction so GPS based landing is like GPS jamming, unavailability of the GPS during the uh, electronic warfare scenarios and onboard manufacturing of the GPS device. So objectives of this research. In the absence of GPS information, uh, present study focuses on two main UAV landing problems reliant on the airborne front looking camera. Uh, how the runway can be recognized and how to align the UAV according to runway position for critical landing phase. These are the two main objectives of our research that we uh, take the image uh, from the from the video from the camera installed on the nose of the UAV and uh, we detect the we recognize or classify the runway and then we align the UAV uh, with that uh, runway. Uh, for landing purpose and vision based runway detection and position estimation for safe landing system this is a generalized overview of the processing stage, uh, stages followed by researchers in uh, runway identification system image processing is performed a low level histogram and noise removal and filtering operations are performed then high level feature extraction high level processing means feature extraction and like back of visual words or um, local binary pattern local data and other features are extracted from the image then runway detection is performed the classification is performed in this step our proposed work our proposed in our proposed work we start the algorithm then uh, in the start of the algorithm the rgb input image is captured from the camera and then conversion to grayscale is done uh, binary image analysis with respect to threshold uh, in this we threshold the image using binary image uh, segmentation then we uh, compute the saliency map based on spectral residual and then we obtain binary mass based on edge and sobel operator here the edge detection is performed binary gradient mask of dilation is used for vertical structuring element and then uh, properties of image uh, region are measured followed by region of interest extraction for for extraction is performed for the runway and then finally we detect the position of the runway left that can be left that can be on right that can be on center in the 
that can be on sharp left, sharp right, and top or bottom. In this case, if runway is on left, then the uh, command is issued by the flight control computer to the um, to the aircraft to move towards the right so that uh, if runway is in right then uh, aircraft moves towards right and if runway is or towards left of the nose or uh, is in the left side of the uav then aircraft move towards the left and if runway is in the center then aircraft moves straight and this is the end of algorithm and this is continuously a continuous algorithm and this operation is continuously performed for each image. Results of this research are discussed over here. Uh, this is the original image which is captured from the nose camera. This is the uh, basically we perform the simulation in the uh, in the uh, flight control Microsoft flight uh, simulator software and we capture the images uh, of runway uh, from there. This is the original image this is the binary threshold image this is the silency map of the image uh, then binary gradient mask dilated gradient mask and then dilated gradient mask with filled holes filled hole command is used uh, in the matlab and extracted runway is uh, shown in the is highlighted in this this uh, red box position estimation of the results of position estimation this is the runway and this is the um, red block and it shows that uh, the command is written over here that runway is down uh, this is the runway detected and uh, here the command is issued to the flight control computer that runway is at left here the runway is at right here the detected runway is on sharp left here the detected runway is on sharp right uh, this is the comparison results of our uh, proposed algorithm with other uh, models. Uh, the model which is used, uh, which used Adaboost algorithm, has accuracy of 90%, and average time for each, uh, for average processing time on each image is five seconds. And another uh, method uh, that uses improved GBVS uh, uses uh, that uh, that uh, takes 1.15 seconds for uh, processing time, and uh, accuracy 83.8% then the airport detection method used by the 72.5 percent is the accuracy and 1.08 uh, seconds is the time then saliency GIS method used by research in four that used the accurate that uh, used the time 121 seconds and the accuracy is 69.3 percent our proposed model beats the all these works in terms of accuracy and the computation time accuracy of our work is 94 percent and the average time uh, processing time taken by every image is 0.32 seconds the graph which shows the average time and uh, accuracy here is our proposed model that has highest accuracy from all of the results Finally, the future work, future work, and the main emphasis would be on detecting the runway more accurately in different circumstances like fog, rain, and dark, and unmanned aircraft on the basis of three-dimensional reconstruction from the instantaneous image. Orders will be our focus to solve, as it is a recent interest of researchers and special challenge in autonomous landing system of the UAV. These are references of our work, and I thank you all for my presentation. Thank you.